This video examines the issue of which is point 1 and which is point 2 when we are using the distance formula. One of the things that causes confusion for students when they are first learning how to use this formula is that we have these values x1, x2, y1, and y2 in the formula. These are merely the x and y coordinates of the two points between which we are finding the distance. But which is point 1? Therefore, which is x1 and which is y1? Let's find out whether there's any difference by plugging point 1, negative 3, 1, and point 2, 6, negative 7 into the distance formula, and then trying it again, changing which is point 1 and which is point 2. In the red formula, I'm making x point 1. And that means x1 is negative 3, y1 is 1. x2 is 6, y2 is negative 7. When we plug these numbers in and simplify, we end up with negative 9 squared plus 8 squared, which gives us 81 plus 64 for 145. The square root of 145 is our distance, and it is 12.04 units. If we plug the values into the formula in the opposite order, so that y is 0.1, it looks like this. x1 and y1 are 6 and negative 7. x2 and y2 are negative 3 and 1. When we simplify, we end up with 9 squared and negative 8 squared, which still gives us 81 plus 64. We have the square root of 145 is our distance, and it's still equal to 12.04. The reason it works out so nicely is the fact that the distance formula has these brackets squared. In the red one, if you'll notice, we have negative 9 squared, which of course gives us positive 81. And positive 8 squared, of course, gives us 64. In the blue formula, the values inside the brackets have the reverse signs. We have 9 squared and negative 8 squared. But because a negative number squared gives a positive answer, we still get 81 and 64. This is why it doesn't matter which is point 1 and which is point 2 when you use the distance formula. And of course, the distance between x and y has to be the same regardless of which is our starting point and which is our ending point.